we should confirm that Wamonyoro Investments Limited has never been issued with any letter of allotment for land in Embakasi. Wamonyoro Investments Limited purchased this land from a third party in the year 2012. The company's ownership of this property has been confirmed through two legal processes. One, a case was filed before the National Land Commission in the year 2016, adjudicated and a determination was made that this property belongs to Amonyoro Investments Limited. That was long before I became the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Again, a matter was filed in High Court case, ELC case number E242 of 2022, which was filed before I became Deputy President. All the documents filed in support of this case were filed in court before I became Deputy President, and no documents have been filed by myself in court upon becoming Deputy President. This being the case, it is not true that I have used my office as Deputy President to manufacture documents filed in this matter. High Court found that this land legally belongs to Amonyoro Investment Limited and issued the appropriate direction. This matter has since been challenged in the Court of Appeal. I invite the Honorable Member who may want to be enjoined in this case to have the liberty to do so. Mr. Speaker, sir, I have been accused in the irregular procurement of mosquito nets at a cost of $3.7 billion. Response to paragraph 45, ground 7 at page 23 and 42, paragraph 78 and ground 11 at page 36, 37 or 42 of the impeachment motion, I wish to respond as follows. It is not true as claimed in paragraph 3 of the witness affidavit of Andrew Molua that I was involved in the KEMSA 3.7 billion irregular procurement of malaria nets, either directly or through proxy. Further, Shobika Impex Limited was not awarded the subject tender as the acting director of procurement, Dr. Justice Kenoti, by letter 5th May 2023, formally notified Shobika Impex Limited that its bid was unsuccessful because its tender security was not paginated and the tender was hence non-responsive. But it's clear at paragraph 4 of the witness affidavit of Adru Morwa, he contradicts himself by claiming that on 11 July 2023, I pressured him to surrender the original bid board, yet by the letter dated 5th May 2023, KEMSA had requested for collection of the original bid. Thus, there was no cause to pressure to be exerted on Mr. Morwa for or any other purpose. I am aware of a foreign company known as Shobika Impex Private Limited, domicile in India, and which appointed Kenya, Crystal Kenya Limited as its local agent in the year 2014, that is eight years before Regardi Gashagwa became the Deputy President. To date, Crystal Kenya Limited has complied with the agency terms between itself and Shobika Impex Private Limited, annexed here to and marked as annexed RG18 in an appointment agency letter by Shopika Impex Limited in the year 2014. Sometime in 2023, Kenya Medical Supplies Authority advertised tender number GFNFM 2022-2023 for supply of long-lasting insecticidal nets using the international open tendering method of procurement on behalf of the Global Fund. The monies for supply of the nets, as per my understanding, was a pure grant from the Global Fund. I am aware that Shobika Impex Limited still participates in doing business with and has not been demurred by the Global Fund to date. I believe being technically qualified to provide and deliver the goods subject of the tender document, having the financial ability to do so, and without their participation or assistance from Crystal Kenya Limited, Shobika Impex Private Limited independently participated and submitted in its bid in response to the subject tender, pass one to an invitation by KEMSA. Having not participated in the subject tender, Crystal Kenya Limited did not submit any of the documents in response to the subject tender. Specifically, Crystal Kenya Limited did not submit a bid board or tender security in its name in response to the subject tender. It is therefore not true that Crystal Kenya submitted a fake bid board 
with an intention to fraudulently 